it's a bit of a different uh, video than I usually do, but I just wanted to show you a bit of Manfred's training. Yesterday he started a new class. Uh, it's, uh, it's a nose work class, but it's a bit different because the, the main focus of it is to uh, mark the findings. So whenever he finds where the scent is hidden, uh, he needs to point with his nose uh, at it and wait until I tell him to release it. So he should basically just freeze. He shouldn't do anything else. He's not allowed to look at me. He's not allowed to look at someone else. Or he just needs to be completely still, focused. And it could be as long as 10, 15, 20 seconds before I release him from the from the freeze. We are searching for this red Kong, which is basically just it's uh, rubber uh, made made from rubber. It has a very specific scent, but it's very different from all other scents so that's why we use it for competitions because yeah it's very unique uh, so as i said he started his class yesterday so today was our first practice we're gonna have he got some homework and he needs to do that every day a couple of minutes and what we're starting with now is that uh, uh, he needs to um, uh, do this freeze movement uh, but with candy instead of the uh, the scent that we will be introducing later. So right now he just needs to, whenever I I get him, I need to get him to chase me or chase my hand where I have some treats. And when I open the palm of my hand, he needs to stop and just look at it before I tell him that he can take it. And uh, we try to do this in increments. So. At first, he maybe just needs to stop for half a second or something, so we always want him to succeed. So it's very important to build positive energy. He should never fail, more or less. He should never fail more than once or twice. If he is, then we're making it too hard for him. So the goal here is to increase the difficulty as you go along. So half a second, one second, two seconds, maybe three seconds. And then we also increase the difficulty by uh, lowering or raising the hand. So at first uh, you would have your hand uh, above nose height, like so, uh, which makes it, makes it very difficult for him to take the candy. After he's very good at that, you can lower it to basically the height of his nose, uh, and when he's doing well with that, you can go uh, even lower. Uh, the lower you keep the hand, basically, the more difficult it is for the dog to uh, withstand the urge to, to grab the treat. If he ever fails, uh, like if he tries to take the treat, or if he looks away, or looks at me, or it doesn't keep focus, then you just close the hand and, and try it again. So it's basically, failure is always just ignoring it, and uh, success is trying to cheer cheer him on as much as possible and uh, just give him the treat and like I said if if he fails once uh, make it a little bit easier on the next try and if it fails again then it needs to be really really easy because you never want the dog to fail three times in a row uh, then it's uh, then you're doing something wrong you need to uh, just make sure that it's always positive and the dog that the dog always uh, finds it uh, entertaining and, uh, and fun uh, they should be really happy when they do this training and uh, you should encourage them and uh, yeah, make sure that they succeed. <laughs> 